The Arizona Cardinals, an extremely well-known American football team, bid goodbye to one of their quarterbacks this season. Jeff Gladney was tragically killed in a car crash at around 2.28 a.m. on Monday morning. In today's video, we'll be discussing this sad news and the impact it will have on his friends, family, and of course, the team. First up, Jeff Gladney's sudden death. According to authorities, 25-year-old cornerback Gladney wasn't the only person killed in the tragic accident on Monday morning. The Dallas County Medical Examiner's Office announced that 26-year-old Andrea Mer Mercedes Palacios has also died. The accident itself involved two cars, and an official investigation confirmed that a white car clipped the vehicle in front of it because it was speeding. This eventually led to the vehicle losing control completely, and then hitting a freeway beam on Woodall Rogers Freeway in Dallas. The man and woman inside the vehicle were not injured at all and got out unharmed, Brian Overstreet said in a statement, asking for prayers for the family and privacy at this most difficult time, for fans and others all over the world. Truly, Gladney and Palacios lost their lives in the most tragic way. We can only pray for his family in these trying times. Next, we have Gladney's NFL career and stats. Gladney had just signed with the Cardinals in March of 2022, after assault charges against him were proven false. He was found not guilty by a jury in the same month. This was supposed to be his first season with the Cardinals, but his third season in the NFL overall. Right out of college, he signed with the Minnesota Vikings. He was a first-round pick in 2020, which is a crazy achievement right out of college. The Vikings, however, let him go after these same assault charges were raised against him by his ex-girlfriend in 2020. In the NFL, he played only 16 games, but his stats still were pretty amazing with a combined total of 81 tackles, solo and assisted. This was just with the Vikings. Unfortunately, he didn't get to play even one complete season with the Cardinals. He definitely would have had a great career ahead of him and a legendary legacy otherwise. Now for his pre-NFL college football career and stats. Before the NFL, Gladney played college football at Texas Christian University, and his outstanding performance made him a perfect choice choice for it. He played a total of 50 games while in college throughout four whole seasons. He was also crowned the first team All-Big 12 in the year 2019. He'd had a pretty solid college football career and was clearly destined for greatness. Throughout just his college career, he had 107 solo tackles, 39 assisted tackles, adding up to a whopping 146 combined tackles. Clearly, Gladney had proved his worth for NFL teams, which is why he ended up getting drafted straight away. Up next, friends, family, and fans share their thoughts on Gladney's sudden death. Like we said before, Gladney had a great career ahead of him and friends and family who were supportive of him since the beginning. The Vikings also released a statement expressing just how saddened they were by Jeff's sudden death. Even though he played only two seasons with him, his impact is clearly so large. The NFL also released an official statement, sending love to his family and others close to him who are mourning at this tremendous loss. We can only imagine what the rest of Gladney's friends and family must be going through, and we can only pray that they get through this with strength and resilience. Still, a disclaimer for the fans, please respect their privacy at this time. Philadelphia Eagles player and one of Gladney's best friends also shared just how full of grief he is in a tweet. He says Gladney was his right-hand man and always there for him through thick and thin. How sad it is to see a friend your age pass so soon and unexpectedly. Jeremiah Donati, closely related to TSU Athletics, also commented on Gladney's close ties with the institution even after he graduated. All this outpouring of love just shows how loved Gladney was in his lifetime by his family, friends, and his community overall. He's definitely living on in their hearts forever. Lastly, Arizona Cardinals news. What's next for them? The next NFL season is starting soon, on the 5th of August to be precise. So far, the Cardinals are training, as per usual, getting ready for the tough season ahead. The first game is supposed to be between the Raiders and the Jaguars, and fans can't wait to see what's in store this year. Their first game this season is on the 9th of September this year, against the Kansas City Chiefs. This means they have a lot of time to prepare. According to NFL Com, it's predicted that they'll win 8.7 games. Sports Illustrated also predicts that they'll go 10 and 7 this season. So far, it seems that they have a pretty exciting schedule ahead of them, and fans just can't wait. Even though their cornerback is missing, they'll definitely honor his memory through the next season's games. Game by game predictions are also out, and many fans think that they have a pretty good chance of winning their first one against the Chiefs. They also might win over the Raiders, considering their previous record. In the third week, though, they're expected to see their first loss of the season against the Rams. Many people think that this is because of Hopkins' absence from the team too, but they'll definitely get back in the game. For Week 4, the prediction is pretty interesting, considering that the Cardinals haven't won a single game against the Panthers since 2013, but many have hoped that this year they'll finally break the curse and claim their victory. Let's see what happens next. For Week 5, there's a predicted win for the Eagles against the Cardinals, considering their improvement in the defense department. In Week 6, again, they're expected to bring home a win against the Seahawks. After that, it pretty much alternates between lose and win until Week 9, 
nine, followed by a two-game winning streak and then a loss against the 49ers. Again, these are just predictions so far. They are expected to win more games until the end of the season based on all these predictions. The Cardinals, however, have suffered a huge loss, so there may be a lowered morale and other problems for the team. They also lost their cornerback, so it's very possible that these predictions may become outdated if Gladney is replaced with someone who has different abilities. Still, no matter what happens, the Cardinals will definitely stay strong and keep Jeff Gladney's memory alive in the hearts of the audience, and we just can't wait to see what next season brings for them. Jeff is probably smiling down at this team. Apart from this NFL player's tragic death, many things have happened in the sports world in America recently. Let's take a look at some of these. Starting with Stefan Tuitt announces retirement at age 29. That seems like a really early age to retire from the NFL, but it seems Stefan Tuitt has made his final decision. The Steelers' defensive end announced his retirement on social media after losing his brother in a hit-and-run accident. He's finished his degree and has graduated from the University of Notre Dame. Seems like he wants to focus on himself and his personal life for now. Although fans are sad to see him go, everyone on social media agrees that he needed to catch a break. Many fans tweeted in support of his decision. The team's general manager, Omar Khan, also released a statement, thanking the player for his hard work for the team over the last eight seasons. This is the second retirement announcement from the members of the team this year, after Ben Roethlisberger retired in January. We wish to it the best for the future and whatever he decides to do next. Next, the Celtics versus Warriors. Predictions are out. Sports writers and journalists have all made their predictions about this year's NBA Finals, and even fans have hopped onto social media to voice their support for their respective teams. It's been an exciting season for both teams, with many close calls throughout. The Dallas Mavericks and Miami Heat's teams almost made it to the Finals, and safe to say, it was pretty intense. Now, we have the Celtics and Warriors face-to-face. -face. The Warriors have the most playoff experience and Finals experience, so they seem pretty prepared. We can only hope the young Celtics stars can keep up with them. So far, the majority predicts that the Warriors are destined to win 4-2, while a few think the Celtics will win 4-3. We can't be sure right now, but it's going to be pretty crazy this time, with the finals being just as intense as the rest of the season. Who do you guys think will win? Is it likely that the Celtics will fold under the pressure, or are the Warriors too confident in their big three right now? And finally, Simone Biles and Jonathan Owens finalize wedding date. Yep, you heard it right. The young couple hasn't held back from showing their love for each other at any opportunity, and we can't help but gush at it. Biles is a known Olympic gymnast and has been with her fiancé for quite a few years now. Owens proposed with a blinding diamond-encrusted ring. The whole thing was a grand affair. Now, they've set a date for their wedding, and even a venue. It's scheduled to take place in 2023, but the details are private for now. Either way, we just can't wait for the festivities. That's a wrap for this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.